Today on the Gearhead Gardener, we're going to look at part three of my fig burritos. As you know, I wrapped these up paper towels, put them in plastic bags, wrapped them in aluminum foil, and now I've got a ton of rooted cuttings. So what am I going to do with all these rooted cuttings? They need humidity or do they need sunlight? I'm going to try and grow some straight outside in the Southern California sun. So if this is something you're interested in, let's get started. Okay, I know the first problem that we're going to have is that it had so much humidity and now it's going to go down to getting these in two pots and not ruining that humidity so i have set this up where i'm going to put some of these in here and the rest i'm not really sure what i'm going to do with i might just put them in water and watch them grow because like i said i do not need that many All right, so I selected a few, or four cuttings that I wanted to start. Some have it, some roots going, so make it nice and easy. So I'm gonna give these a quick spray and then put the covers back on them. They have holes in there, so they're gonna regulate the humidity. And we're gonna let these start out and see how fast these things will go. All right, so I got the little humidity domes going on, and now they're gonna be just set over here on the windowsill. Like so. And I still got all of these cuttings I need to find a home for. Okay, what I'm doing here, it's still wintertime here in Southern California, but I'm going to plant these outside. These have been in humidity, wrapped up into what I call a fig burrito for 30 days. And I'm going to go ahead and pot these up and get these outside and see if they will survive. As you can see, they've got all got roots starting on the bottom, which is a glorious sight. And it's February 1st at about 69 degrees here in Southern California. So I want to hurry up and get these out into the sun and just see if they're going to survive all winter. I've got their matching ones in humidity domes inside the shop that'll be in this window, which is going to get a lot of nice sun. Okay, since these are already starting to root, they don't need any rooting hormones. I'm just going to go ahead and get these all put into the soil, pack it down just a little bit. And I'm gonna take it and put it out in the sunniest part of the yard where it's gonna get sun all day. And we'll just see how they do in the winter time. Just to see if they will continue to grow like the ones that have started to come to life outside. Again, outside, I'm gonna leave these with just some wood chips in the pots so the birds don't think it's fresh dirt and start digging them up. So they're gonna sit in this wagon just for a little while and then they'll eventually sit out here. But this is the hottest part of the yard. This is where most of the other fig cuttings are starting. Like I said, they're, they're waking up already on February 1st. So we're gonna see how these do. How nice of it, how nice is it to have your fresh sprouted cuttings out in the natural sun in Southern California on February 2nd. All right, these are the six that I decided I'm gonna let spend the rest of the winter outdoors to see how vigorous they're gonna grow. These were wrapped in paper towels for 30 days in a baggie and some heat underneath. My fig burritos, we're gonna see how these six do throughout the winter. And these are my other cuttings that get to spend the afternoons in the sun. For the last of the cuttings, put a little perlite at the bottom and just loosely dropped a bunch of cocoa core inside there and sprayed it with a spray bottle. You can see some of the tips are already rotted out, but I think we're gonna 
have roots sprouting from all over the place here. Like I said, just loosely with some cocoa core. And then a couple I'm just going to put in water and just let them do whatever they need to do. Because I've just got so many of these wonderful cuttings. And this will sit here on a, with a dome with a little bit of light, holes on the top. And it'll get some bottom heat and light in here. All right, let's go back outside. All right, so these are going to sit out here. They've been here a couple hours already. And it's pretty warm today, like I said. Mid-70s probably. Southern California Zone 10B. All right, we're going to end this one here. Thanks for watching my video. The Gearhead Gardener here. This is the Big Burrito Part 3. What to do with all these cuttings. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Hit the notification bell. Tell your friends. Come along with me on this venture as I fix up old cars, play with my trees, and do pretty much anything I want in my retirement. Thanks for watching. The Gearhead Gardener. Filet TV. Ciao.